south of the border in view of another. Hey, my name is Sandra Lurke and I create music. Love a boy, try teleporting and try ammunition. Turns out somebody else screwed up the mission. I had a visionary dream where I thought I found the title, but when I woke up I couldn't remember it. And that feeling of having the, the perfect whatever it is and, and losing it, um, I felt I should honor that by not settling for anything else. The album isn't Sandra Lurke by Sandra Lurke, it's just more that it doesn't really have any specific title, so the, you grab onto the, the next best thing, and that's my name, I guess. Don't come closer, Domino. These songs came to me in a very honest and a very heartfelt way, and it felt almost like my natural instinct at work, like to really, well, what would it mean to really, really try to make something that is really candid, really direct emotionally? And really heartfelt, um, but uh, that still really values uh, the process and the art of actually creating something that's both aesthetic but also stripped down and, and, and doesn't have as much ornaments in a way. One step closer and everything. Contemporary American music, like a lot of what's called, I guess, indie music, has become maybe more of an uh, influence. Um, and, uh, and I think maybe, maybe you can hear that on this record. It wasn't an album where I really spent a lot of time thinking about references and influences and sort of creating uh, these stylistic sounds um, the way I've approached some of my other albums. It's, it's really, it was really sort of free of all that. It was just informed by the songs and trying to get to the core of that and capture some sort of intensity of, of performance, rather. It's a bit more difficult to tell jokes before or after any of these songs when I perform them live, just because it doesn't go with the tone of some of the songs. You know? So for better or worse, I don't want to get people down, but um, I, I've got enough happy songs, I think, to balance it out. But it doesn't make a lot of sense if you can't name names. When it's nice to step out of your own sort of persona and, and write for other characters and other perspectives. And it's a nice challenge just as a songwriter to try to write something that would, will fit with someone else's sort of piece of work or art or expression. I learned a lot from that in real life, also because it was such a long and really intense process working with all the creatives on that film um, that I was really brought on uh, for s such a big part of the movie. In Dinner for Schmucks I got to work with um, the composer of the score, Teddy Shap uh, Shapiro, who's, who was really, really um, a joy to work with and I incorporated parts of his score into the, the, the one song I wrote. So, so that was a really neat collaboration. I haven't really written, written songs with a lot of people but it worked really well. And it's a whole different medium, like people who you wouldn't reach on anywhere else, like get attached to the movie and the music is, is a pretty significant part in, of that in, in a lot of parts of the movie, so it, it's sort of, they have a whole different story than people who, who you just, um, who have heard you on the radio or write about you and then show up to a show, like they come with all this, all these images and all these emotions uh, that are already sort of like brought to the table. It's really interesting, so I, I feel it's, it's just great to reach people in different ways and with different, different music. Don't come closer, Domino, Domino uh, has a bit of the, the mood that sort of captures the, the album and, 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 the, and the atmosphere, and I thought that that is key to this record, is, is the, the vibe of it, more so than arrangements and like styles and stuff like that it's, it's and also I, I'm just I'm really proud of my guitar solo at the end and I wanted people to hear it as soon as possible